Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with an, another interesting tutorial with Arduino. So we are going to control a DC motor when there is a motion detected by PAR sensor in this project. So in this tutorial, we'll go through the step-by-step -step instruction to the complete circuit using Arduino Uno, DC motor, PAR sensor, and few components like a transistor and diodes. So we'll be using Tinkercad simulator and at the end of this tutorial you can just follow the connection you can copy the code and put it to your Arduino IDE and upload it to your physical connection. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I would request you to subscribe, like the video, share and comment. So to start we are using Tinkercad.com so if you don't have an account please go to the website create an account and log into the page. So in the login, if you see on the right side, you have options like code, simulation, export, and you also have the components which we'll be using for this circuit. So let's start with adding an Arduino Uno. Okay, so let's uh, use that component first. Okay, let me add a breadboard as well because we need to make few connections so it's easy to connect a lot of components through the breadboard okay because we'll have a lot of wires coming from arduino and other components so i'm going to connect the 5 volt and ground first okay so that should be the first step so i'm going to use the 5 volt okay and i will also connect the ground so it's easy for us to use this uh, port from the breadboard then to connect to the ground and 5 volt. Okay, so I've given uh, black for ground and uh, red for 5 volt. Okay, let me search for the PAR sensor. Okay, so let me add a sensor now. Okay, so this is a motion sensor so which will detect the motion when we move across in front of the sensor. So it have three pins uh, one for ground, and one for signal, and one for uh, the power. Okay, so let me connect the ground to the ground location on the breadboard. So we have a ground and uh, 5 volt already connected, right? Okay. So I have connected the ground to the ground. Now if you look from your physical uh, PR sensor, when you do it physically, you may see there is a difference, the pin, uh, how it is aligned. Okay, now here if you see the ground is on the right and the power is on the middle and the signal is on the left, right? But it may not be the same in your uh, physical uh, PR sensor. So please check the pin names first and make the connection accordingly. Okay, so now let me connect the signal pin. Okay, so uh, connect, I'm connecting to the pin 9. So this pin we'll be using to read when there is a motion detector in the PR sensor. So whenever there is a motion, uh, we will be uh, writing the code to make sure that the pin 9 is reading those signals. So let me use the DC motor. Okay, so DC motor have two pins, one for power and one the one for ground. So it's a terminal one and terminal two. Okay, the red is for power and uh, the black is for the ground. Now for make it easy, I'm connecting the ground. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm using the nine volt battery first because uh, I think. Uh, the challenge here it is because I cannot give the voltage directly for the DC motor using the 5 volt because that is not good enough to run your uh, DC motor. So I need a bigger current. So I'm going to use a 9 volt battery here. So I'm using the 9 volt battery, the ground and the 9 volt into the breadboard. So please see that I have not connected the 5 volt and 9 volt to 
to others okay because that will short your uh, Arduino board so don't do that I'm just connecting this for uh, easily I can connect the DC motor to these two volt now if you see I have connected the grounds each other from the battery and also to the ground from the Arduino but I have not connected the 9 volt and 5 volt okay so please be careful on that part Now to just show you the DC motor is running okay so I'm going to just give the direct 9 volt to the DC motor so I'm going to give the 9 volt uh, connection to the DC motor first and I'll also connect the ground then okay Okay, so I have connected the ground as well so this is more like you know you are connecting the 9 volt directly to the motor and you can see the motor is running now right you can see the yellow circle is spinning okay, when you do the simulation but this is not what we need because we connected directly the 9 volt that is not what we require what we require is whenever there is a motion detected by the PAR sensor then the motor should run right so let's make some changes in the connection so i have removed the uh, ground connection so how we we are going to do is okay i'm going to use a transistor which is the nmos transistor okay so using this we will be able to control some connection because whenever there is a signal detected so you have three pins for this as well one for gate and one for drain and another one for source so whenever the gate you know, is uh, detecting uh, some signal, we'll be able to control uh, the NMOS transistor. Okay, so I've connected the source to the uh, ground. Okay, so we, we have to control the source connection to the DC motor because whenever there is a signal detected from the PAR sensor, the ground should get uh, connected and the circuit will be complete so that the DC motor will start running okay so let me do some connection so I'm going to use the train to the ground okay so the train is connected to the ground of the DC motor now we have a gate so the gate I'm going to make use of it uh, from the uh, Arduino board so I'm going to connect the pin number 2 to the uh, gate so what we do is like the gate will decide whether the connection to the DC motor should happen or not right because whenever the gate is uh, high then the drain uh, will connect make the connection to the DC motor so the whole circuit of that ground will be completed Right, the source and the drain that the whole uh, ground circuit will be completed now I'm going to use a diode here as well so you may think why I need a diode here uh, this is basically to stop the current flow because we are using a 9 volt so we don't want our Arduino board to be short circuited so we want to stop the uh, reverse current flow uh, to the circuit so that's why if you see the uh, circle on the diode it's to the other side so we don't want the current to flow towards uh, the circuit of Arduino okay so that's how it should be the circle the line on the diode should be towards the 9 volt connection in the uh, DC motor so we are done with the circuit diagram or connection so you can double check this connection and uh, make sure that you are also doing this connection properly
okay now it's time to write our code so I have clicked on the code and I'm going to use the text option because I prefer to write in the text you can even use the block code okay so I'm going to set some uh, constants first okay so I'm going to give some variable for uh, PAR uh, pin okay because uh, it's easy for you to do the coding like that so that's a standard format you don't need to be doing the constant or variable first but uh, it's better you do it so you can use that con constant name in most of your code so you don't have to keep changing the values in future if you make some changes inside but this is a simple program so you it's easy for you if you even if you want to change it inside the code so I have set two constant one is for PR pin and another one is for motor pin and I'm also using a switch state integer which is set to zero now okay so the PR pin you know we are using pin number nine and the motor pin is two so if you are using some other pin please uh, make the ch changes in the code accordingly so I'm going to use the pin mode and the PR pin should be input because we are going to read the uh, input or the signal from the PR sensor okay but uh, the motor pin should be an output okay so we are done with the white setup now it's time to write the white loop So let me remove this uh, sample one okay so the first thing what we have to do is we have to read the PAR sensor value right so I'm going to use digital read okay and I'm going to read the PAR pin so and what I'm going to do is the PAR pin value is saved into the switch state so currently it's zero when I set the integer but when there is a signal detected the pin 9 will become high right so that value will be saved into the switch state so next step is we have to check what is the value of switch state because it can be high or low right because if only if there is a motion detector it will be high so let's write the if loop so if switch state equal to high that means there is a motion detected right so what you have to do when there is a motion detected you have to make the pin 2 as well high right then only you will have the closed circuit for your DC motor so the DC motor will start running so I'm going to use digital write okay and now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to write to the motor pin that's the pin number 2 equal to high okay so as I said if there when there is a motion detected the digital read will give you switch state is high so at that time you have to change the pin number as well to high so the uh, DC motor will start running else means if there is no motion detected we can keep it low so though there is no uh, DC motor will be will not be running So the, the concept is same even you can change the DC motor with some other components so some alarm or something but this is just the concept okay Okay, so what we did digital write the motor pin as low so the pin number two will be low when the when the motion is not detected so let's run the simulation okay so I'm going to click start simulation 
okay we are getting some error message why this because the switch state there is a type error so we have to change it because the integer we have set is switch state here i have typed it a little bit different so let's correct that Okay, let's try let's try the simulation again okay this time the error message is different because we have written the low in you know, l o w which was in small uh, letters so it has to be all capital letters l o w and there is a colon missing okay so that has to be done as well so let's start the simulation again Me just zoom towards the motor okay so now if you see when we do the movement or when the PR sensor is detecting the movement the motor is spinning right you can see that when there is no motion detected it stops okay so that's great so our complete code is also working right so you are able to uh, do the movement of DC motor when there is a PR motion detected now what we can do is we can copy all this uh, code okay you make the connection on your physical Arduino board and the breadboard you connect you paste this code into your Arduino IDE connect your Arduino board and just click on upload okay so once you upload it this uh, code will be sent to your Arduino board and uh, you should be able to have this uh, circuit running right so as, the, as part of this tutorial we have gone through the step-by-step -step instruction how to make the connection and control the PR sensor right and we have done the coding to detect the motion controlling the power of DC motor using a transistor and the diode is used to prevent the negative current flow towards the your Arduino board so I hope this tutorial is informative for you thank you for watching kindly subscribe like the video share and comment